What you are about to witness will contain violence, disturbing imagery, adult themes, and may leave you doubting who you thought you were. Proceed at your own risk. Emmeline Van Baxter is 35 years old and spent her childhood dreaming of becoming a ward. As the eldest of five, she spent most of her time looking after her brothers and sisters, maintaining a delicate balance between stern safekeeping and participating in dangerous shenanigans. She often tells a story of a time she was returning from the market with shopping to find the youngest jumping off the roof, their parents' aprons tied to their wrists, they were pretending to be dragons. She hastily dropped the shopping and used magics to float them safely down, just in the fire of time, as they say. The children, having no idea, circled each other, screaming excitedly, aware that something magical had indeed just occurred. But they remained unaware it was Emmeline until they were much, much older. She's always been quite skilled with magics, you see. Golten, Emmeline's father and a renowned baker, chastised her for picking bruised fruit, and Emmeline let him do so without a word of complaint. She wouldn't betray the secret of her brothers and sisters, but her father insisted he walk her back down to the market and show her how to select proper fruit, properly. It was walking the market, her father eagerly gushing about his passion the twinkle in his eyes and the broad smile on his face when he saw the perfect persimmon. This was the first moment she felt her desire shift, from dreaming of becoming a ward to the regent, to what she eventually became. If she laughs, you will laugh with her. The Baxters say she has a familiar twinkle in her eyes whenever she talks about food. She's tender and observant and an excellent teacher. She married her childhood sweetheart, and together they run the kitchen and keep bakery in the Blakeguard Castle. It is a marvel to watch her work, jars and jugs floating all around her, her hands covered in flour. Sometimes she won't even notice you're there. She believes baking is an art, not an experiment. Often she can be heard hollering at the kids in the street for causing a ruckus. But she always leaves a basket of fresh goods outside the keep side doors. And while she occasionally finds herself looking longingly at the regent and his august wards, she does find comfort in the knowledge that she is serving in her own way, and finds true joy in perfecting rhubarb turnover and the look on the regent's face when he tries her dinwide famous merberry jam, and sharing her love of the kitchen to those interested. If you could only sense how important you are to the lives of those you meet, how important you can be to the people you may never even dream of. Those who know her have enriched lives simply having met her, and she has no idea how much she will be missed 
when she's gone. Emmeline, have you seen where we put the tidying up cloth? My hands are covered in flour. Oh, it's over on, um, that counter over there. Wait. Oh, I am downright filthy. Oh, here it is. That jar. All right. The first turnover's done. Oh, lovely. Mm. So what's next on the agenda for today? Honestly, I'm not quite sure. Um. Oh, the buns! We got to do the buns! Always forgetting the buns. Uh, for the... For Leah, I suppose I should call him. <laughs> and what was the other name that you called him recently? Something funny, it made me laugh. I remember chuckling about it as we was making those bear claws. It was Mia. <laughs> that was it, yes. I just want too many cops in. How are you going to make fun of me for that? I'm only poking fun, that's all. <laughs> so how can I be of assistance, Emmeline? Mm. What can I do for you? Let's start packing all this up then to start delivering it, right? Sounds like the, a plan. The jam buns should almost be done as well. All right. Anything else? Mm. I wanted to surprise Vega today. What did I want to do? I prepared oh. them early. The cream layers! The elderflower ones, you see them over there? Can you grab them for me, love? Oh, yes, yes, not a problem. All right. You know what I've always loved about this? What's that? It wouldn't be that hard for you to just make them poof into the air, right? We don't have to knead dough or sprinkle sugar on top. You could do it all with your magic, but you choose not to. Why is that? I'd be spending a lot less time in the kitchen with you, first and foremost, you know? Well, fair enough. <laughs> It's not, isn't it? You know? An art indeed. <laughs> so, are we ready to start uh, getting the seed breads in the oven and then finishing up everything else? Your wish is my command. <laughs> All right, we'll start kneading then. We gotta get them in there. Oh, I just got my hands clean. <laughs> Why do you like it here? Yeah, cooking and whatnot? The same reason as you do. Delightful conversation and bringing joy to people. Makes you feel like you're making a difference. But even if it's small. It does, doesn't it? You know, nobody ever writes stories about the good folk like us that bake bread, but I don't think that's what's important. You know. Oh, we'd just be too good for the storybooks, we would. Wouldn't we? <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> well. I've got this counter all riddled with flour. It's everywhere. All right, so get an easy. Come on. All right. I need you to hurry up here. Oh, that was good. I'll give you that. <laughs> that was good. Alright, I'll start getting all the, uh, the frosting on these swirls, eh? Oh, wow. Who do you think I should bring stuff to first? Hmm. I say Vega for last. Vega for last. Vega for last. 
I would say Jude then. Jude first? Yeah, she's always quite delightful. Perfect. All right. I agree with that. All right. They've been working really hard, haven't they? Perhaps too hard. Gonna work themselves to death. No. That is one it's thing true. our story wouldn't tell. You never hear of bakers who work themselves to death. Well, if the amount of these kids, we will be make, working ourselves into an early grave, you know? Yes, I suppose you're right on some sort. <laughs> Oh, that's just, that needs to be flattened a little bit more. All we right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know I'm not as good as you as this. This isn't what I am well, proficient that's a bold at. face lie. Bold isn't face it? might be a hyperbole, but sure. <laughs> you know me, always hyperbolic. <laughs> Among other things. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? No, nothing. Nothing at all. It, well, it meant something. Come on, elaborate. If I were to edit my diction, I would say that you are pleasantly hyperbolic. The way about you and people is meaningful. That's all. I just like seeing others smile, that's all. Selfish, really, you know? Is it? A little bit. I don't think making people smile is selfish whatsoever. Ah, oh, well, you gotta get in my brain then, love. Yeah, all right. All right, that's ready to go in. All right. Now what? Very well done. Now what? That is the question. Now we wait, I suppose. What we uh, do? Any games around here or something? Well, we could do what we did last week. We could see how many gumdrops we can throw into that jaw over there. I believe you won last week as you did the week before, but... I believe I'll win this week too, love. If you like. Oh. Uh, Alright. Alright. Get throwing then. Come on. Alright. I'm winning this week, just so you know. We need to get like a board or something, or a piece of wood. We can tally. Who wins the gum drop drop? There's got to be a better name for that, but something. I like sport. it. Came for your brain. So of course I like it. We all, all right. win this week. Go on, come on. Show me what this you got. This one is going in. Nope. Nope. Oh. That, that Just a little shy. Didn't. You can't move it over to the left a little bit more. Tiny bit. Always to the left. All right, you're up. All right. Looks like I missed. Did you miss that on purpose? Certainly not. No. I think you're lying, Emmeline. Don't take kindly the line. All right. Th this one. This is it. Right here. You labeling me a liar there, Marcy Mike? Um, uh, no, hmm? no. That, that is once again a hyperbole. So maybe you are hyperbolic in all the times. <laughs> That one misses well. To the left as always. Alright. Let's see here. Mine was off by like, what? How, what would you say? What would be your critique of, of how I threw that before? I think you threw it without the intention of making it. That would be my critique, Emmeline. I suppose I have to try harder this time, then, right? I would say try truthfully, but yes. All right, fine, you caught me. Oh, that one made it. I, um, tickle me surprised. Hey, come on, you can still catch up. Come on. What are our games to typically three? Mm-hmm. All right. Easy now, man, some more. This one's it. Yes, finally. Been three weeks without a gumdrop dropping the drop draw. You may just best me up. Yeah, yeah, I'll we'll see. Go on. Right, number three. Oh, just a shy off. 
teeny bit. You know what makes it no fun if you'll try to let me win? I'm, not, I'm gonna lay on my pedal not thinking about how you let me win and how it's not an honorable victory. But fine. I'll still take it where I can. All right. Not to the left, man. Small. Not to the left. We have two. All right. So I suppose I'm on my last one then, eh? I suppose so. You ready for a tie? Yes. The tie we have. Of course. I'll expect nothing less. I can't have you thinking we're not equal, right? <laughs> Is that what you think? <laughs> I am merely the assistant to the great Emmeline, and I am very honored to be such. So. <laughs> All right, quit flirting. How are the, um... How's the bread in there? What about the layers? Oh, it looks like bread being cooked, but your eyes are a little better than mine. Probably another minute or so, I would assume. Thank you for telling me the truth this time. <laughs> Question for you. I might have an answer. I'm sure you do. If you didn't do this, you know, baking goods, leaving them out the side door for the kids, what would you have done? Or would you have done anything different? Well, I think I'm where I'm supposed to be, that's for sure. But when I was younger, before I learned what I wanted to be, genuinely, thought I was going to be uh, a ward or something. What a contrast, huh? Very much so. <laughs> Why a ward, if you don't mind me asking? It's all about honour and protection, isn't it? Yes and no. I don't take you as one for politics. That's not the politics I'd be invested in. You hear all the stories about these wards and, and all the deeds they do. And... I thought it might be nice to be one myself. But I found out that I like being secretive in a bakery myself a lot more than being the light of everything, you know what I mean? Oh, I do. Well, for what it's worth, I think you make far grander a difference here than you would there, but that's also me being selfish. I like it when you're selfish. That's all. Is that burning? No, I, I think it's just about done. Yes, I should get that out. <laughs> All right. See, it's fine. Oh, it still looks like it might hold up. Maybe the extra time will uh, keep it structural this this time around, eh? Yeah, it's much better than last week's. It was a disaster. <laughs> well, a disaster by your standards, but... Here we are. Nothing you ever make is a disaster. You should see me try and make muffins, but... <laughs> Alright, maybe those are a disaster, you're right. Yes, yes. <laughs> Big, soggy mess of things. Awful. You know the thing about wards, though? What? They're very isolated for all the attention they actually get. You know what I mean? It's pretty much like they only have each other. And well, you know, those who are nice to them and inside the keep itself, right? 
I never thought about it that way. When did you know that's what you wasn't going to be? Hmm. Well. It's my father, actually. He was all mad at me for some bruised fruit. You should have seen how red his face was when I was talking to him about it. So angry. He was so angry that he made me go with him to the market. And there was this perfect looking persimmon. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and the most beautiful thing he ever seen. The way he lit up. That's when I knew. Small things, you know what I mean? It's not about the big picture all the time. Ah, oh, that is why you're wrong. <laughs> the small things are what make the big picture, Emmeline. Well, yes. They help make it prettier, I suppose. Or a little bit chunkier, whichever you prefer. <laughs> I believe that's what people don't understand. We always summarize someone's life by the big moments. Your wedding day, your funeral, the day you're born, etc. I like to think of it as me making terrible muffins or playing the gumdrop game with you. That's what makes it laugh. At least to me, anyhow. Then I suppose by our standards, we have quite a good one, eh? Oh, quite so. <laughs> quite better than the life I thought I'd have. So, thank you for that. Well, thank you for that. Award. <laughs> Alright, this is getting too mushy. Stop it. Alright, fine. You know, your lady locks could use some work, though. Saying. What did you just say to me? Oh, no, um, you said not too mushy, so I figured I'd turn it to a critique instead. I know how you love critique, Emmeline. You don't like my hair? No, Lady Locks as in the bakery, not as in your hair. No, your oh. hair's fine. <laughs> hair's just fine. You gotta be more specific next time. I thought I was being specific, fine. Well, there are different types of Lady Locks, it seems. I thought it was me hair. All right, ma'am. You like my hair, though, right? Yeah, it's lovely, as always. That's not a lie, right? No, that is not a lie. I'm just... It's not a lie, right? Y yes, it is not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the rest of this out of the ovens. <laughs> they're smelling like they're done. All right. How, how do you smell that? It all smells the same to me after so long. Everything I weigh up smells like bread. How, how do you know? Well, it's because they all have their own unique scent to them, right? It's like people. They've got their own characteristics. If someone walks by you, you smell... Mmm, that smells like gardenias. That must be Emmeline, right? Is that what you think I think? I'm just, I'm just saying in general, okay? You learn no, no, to associate certain scents with certain foods, and even if they are mixing, you can kind of like pick them out. Good to know. All right, so you think I'm crazy? That's fine. No, no, all I'm, right. I'm just I amazed suppose. by your keen sense of smell. <laughs> that is all. That is all. To me, it all smells like bread or sweets. I'm proud if I could tell the difference between the two, to be honest with you. Well, I am always proud of you, even if you don't have my keen nostrils, eh? Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> so we're packing all this up, and then any way you'd like me to transport it? Oh, uh, you can help me carry him on over to, uh... First, we're gonna go to Jude, then we're gonna go on over to Leah, and then we're gonna finally be over to Vega, my biggest critic. You think I'm horrible to myself? She is vicious indeed. I believe that's what the V stands for, then. 
<laughs> Maybe she was Vega. She's Vega, indeed. All right. Let's start packing these up. We'll make them look cute. Yes, that is what I meant by transporting them for the record. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you wanted balls. Sometimes you like the blue balls. Sometimes you like the red mm -hmm. eye. I was curious on what you was feeling today. We'll put a little flower on top of Vegas. She's got the el elderflower cream layers. We're gonna give her those. It's interesting right. and different. She likes interesting and different. Fair enough. There's an extra one dried up right there. Oh. I'll start bagging up these buns over here. Fair enough. I'll take these ones over here then. You'll win next time, you know. You said that last week, too, and the week before, but sure. <laughs> sure, I will. All right, and then we need the rhubarb turnovers, which are already cooled over there. Let's grab them. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. We're going to have to get you, like, six arms so you can go ahead and do everything at once. Well, that Minion. you see, that would be a story. Then they would write a story about bakers. The six arm baker. Oh. That would be something. And maybe perhaps I could juggle them. I mean, I could try and have you grow a couple of arms if you like. It might be like tiny though. I'm joking. That... I'm joking. Oh. It's a joke. <laughs> I, I thought that was perhaps something you could do. So. I mean, I suppose I could try, but I don't think that it would be very fruitful, to be honest with you. Something to consider, I guess. Having little baby arms on you? Yeah, I, I, I would not... No, not the baby arms. I would like them to be full-sized man arms, but... Some arms? Yes. Some arms. <laughs> All right, let's get these going. All right, fair enough then. Don't forget to take a break while I'm away. All right. Understood. I, I, I can do that. Good. Fair enough. All right. Just get these up. Thanks. These are heavy, you know? Yeah. These kids really can eat. You wouldn't think they were heavy, but then you pick them up and you're out of breath for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. I'll be back later. Don't run. All right. Just up these stairs. Jude. Joe, these things are really heavy. Oh, can you get the door? Emeline. Yes, of course. Oh, oh sorry, I think I lost goodness. like I lost some weight coming up the stairs with these. My goodness, they are heavy. Whew. All right. So I brought your favourite. I'll Thank open you. up with that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> they look beautiful. How are you? Well, I'm alright. Just been cooking in the, uh, the kitchens with Mossimo all day. Been busy? You? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Just taking some, uh, time to read. Yes. Thank you for these, they're lovely. Uh, do you need any help or anything? No, I should be alright. What are you reading about? Oh. <laughs> I'd say memoir. One of my favorite novelists. Um, Mura Runecaller. It's simple, really. It's just talking about um, the physical component about uh, creativity. Uh, this novelist often talks about needing to stay physically well um, honing his craft through physical endurance so it's not terribly interesting I'm sure I mean but it's the truth 
I do feel very similar, uh, similarly to, well, I, I share a similar philosophy, I suppose. One, in order for one to be creative and passionate in their life, they have to have a vessel to do so. So, yes. Now let me ask you this. Hmm. Why have you been pushing yourself so hard? Oh, uh... I'm sorry, I don't mean to pry, it's just you've been near passing out every night I see you leave the courtyard. Uh, well, I suppose I, I didn't think that I was training any harder than usual. Is that so? Would you like a seat? Well, I suppose my older bones could use one. <sighs> so, what's with it? Come on. Well, I, I um, suppose. One never knows when one needs to be ready. And things are quiet. Been quiet for a long time. I'm afraid that I've grown comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. Well, you should always be ready. First and foremost, you're not wrong with that, but you know there's nothing wrong with the comfort, right? Because you only get it once until it's ripped out from under you, and then you don't got comforts anymore. I'm not sure comfort serves me then. If it's going to be gone at any point and it doesn't come back. Well, it's one of those things, right? You use it for when the times get real rough. You look back on it. It gives you that drive to try to be comfortable again, doesn't it? There's nothing wrong with it. This um, may surprise you, but I'm not sure Comfort is a feeling I've known before. So, it is uncomfortable. Well, if you ain't never known it before, then you damn well deserve it more than most of us. What is deserving, Emily? What is to deserve something? Am I more deserving than you? of anyone. I think we just tell ourselves that we deserve something to rationalize our enjoyment of it, which is fine, but I suppose I just struggle with whether or not something should be enjoyed in the first place, which as I'm saying it out loud doesn't make much sense, I suppose, but... No, it does. But what I will say is, since you like practicality, right? You seem like a very practical person from my years and you. When you see one of your friends, let's say Leah is exhausted, right? And you two are out and about. Let's say you're on an adventure or something. And Leah is exhausted, right? You say he deserves sleep, yeah? Because he hasn't slept for a while. Yes, I see the point that you're trying to make. And... Hmm, rationally, I understand that you're correct. But I must be better. And 
why must you be better than anyone else? What makes you... Using your own logic, right? What makes you deserving, but then what makes you need to be the one that's better than everyone else? That's kind of selfish and a little bit, um... Self-centered, to be honest. Isn't it? You are correct. I don't mean to make you rack your brain. I'm sorry, love. I oh, just yeah, hate but... seeing someone who's good wasted in a way. That's all. Good. <laughs> For what it's worth, if you'd like my opinion, I think that you should take this comfort. And while it's uncomfortable to be comfort, comfort, comfortable, uncomfortable hmm. to be comfortable, you just relish it for a little bit. You don't have to become um, a wet noodle, you know, so to speak. But Emmeline, what if when it's gone, I miss it? That's a fair thing, right? But if you miss it, then you'll do your best to make it a reality again, right? Because comfort for you is also comfort for these other two that you run around with, isn't it? I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Yes, you're right. As usual. How did Not you become so wise, Emily? I got I a few years like, oh, on you. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I owe you a great deal. You know, I used to want to be a ward. Did you? Took it way too fucking seriously, too. Don't take it way too fucking seriously. You miss out on a lot of things. Like love and stuff. You found that. I stopped taking it way too fucking seriously. For what it's worth, you would have been a wonderful ward. I'll make a way better baker. I think those turnovers prove that, right? They do. Not a better rhubarb turnover than all of Blake Guard. And you better not ever say anyone else is better than me. I'll remember it if you do. Take it with me to the grave. I would simply perish the thought. <laughs> well, I feel I've taken too much of your time. Thank you for coming. You don't take my time, love. I enjoy being here with you. And don't you forget that you're worthy of people's time. It's not taking it up. You deserve that time, you deserve that space. Okay? Thank you. Truly. Of course. I expect you'll be in bed about an hour earlier tonight. Hmm? Well, I could probably arrange something... Perhaps half an hour? 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> now to take Good luck. slightly less heavy basket on over. I'm gonna go see Leah now. You need anything, right. Massimo's in the kitchen, alright? I'll be there soon too. Thank you so much, Emily. Of course. Thank you.
All right, down this corridor. Leah! I'm over here. Come on, put the goddamn sword down. You got baked goods, Dee. Come here. Why, if it isn't Mrs. Van Baxter herself. You know, you can just call me Emmeline, right? Miss Emmeline. <laughs> oh, what a savior you are. Oh. How you My drill instructor is something else. I'll tell you what. Is she watching still? She was just here. Oh. Well? You're your own drill instructor right now. So be a little light on yourself, okay? I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay. Anyway, I'll just sheath this then. What do you have for me then? Oh, you've got your pick of the litter, but oh. I would say that you're probably going to go for one of these. Some Burberry jambons. How you feel you about didn't. That? You oh, did geez. not. Made a full batch just... for you. She so doesn't you know, does she? You hit these. You bet I will. <laughs> oh, I'm so. St I'm. I'm starving. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> oh. A whole lot of you. I need a lot of cages. I swear. Oh. It's a bit uh, rude of me to ask, but you didn't bring any anything to drink, did you, by any chance? I've been parched all day. You got your pick of the litter. You want some water? You want a little bit of... Uh, oh, I can do that. Tea, oh, water's fine. <laughs> Oh, you are far too good to me. So, have How you been feeling? then? Oh, oh, me? Me first. Ah, <laughs> uh, me first. I thought I beat you to it this time. I've been okay, you know, just uh, just working, you know, trying to uh, trying to live up to the name and all that. Trying to uh, not not be left behind by those two. As much as I can, you know. You know you already live up to your name, right? It's your Is name. Is that so? I don't believe that for a second, you know? It's the name, sure, but it's the actions that, that are tied to the name that make you worthy of it, no? And I'm here to prove that. This gammy leg and... or whatever, I... I've got to work through it. I've got to get through it. And I will. Simple as that. You do, but you also have to rest. Every so often, you know. I suppose you're right. But you know what the drill instructor says? You can rest when you're dead. <laughs> so I think I have plenty of time ahead of me now. Really? Right? I mean, it's what she says. Um, so she has to be right, right? Right? Do you see how much happier I am than your drill instructor? Are you gonna listen to uh, the unhappy one or are you gonna listen to the happy one? I mean... Happily married, uh, happily employed. I mean, here's the hope that if I work hard enough, maybe she will be happy. Fair enough. So, uh, I'll get there soon enough, I think. The other day, I think she smiled after my drill, you know? Well, you're a marvel. Why wouldn't she smile after your drill? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but uh, I'm trying. You know, maybe one day I could, maybe, just a fraction, do as good as Vega, you know? Just a fraction. She dances, you know. It's... It's something else. Well, you all have different skill sets now, at least from an outside perspective. That's what it looks like. I suppose so, I suppose so, you know, like, uh, Jude is sturdy as she is stoic. Vega is our... she's our vanguard, you know. I kind of stay in the back and... Well, I mean... Jude's at the books, I think, right now, but, uh... Tactics, tactics, tactics. They're easy enough, you know, but, uh... 
I've been I've been practicing my medical skills with the Kairujans, trying to uh, do better, you know, where I can. And you think that's not as valuable as being able to dance with your blades? Well, I mean, if I can prevent injury from happening in the first place, that'd be great, no? That would be great. But at least you have the capability of, um, making them better. I know, I just... I, I just want to one day feel like I'm worthy, you know? Uh... To carry the mark. And to wear it proud. You know, sort of maybe even get rid of this thing. And just wear that instead. Show the world I'm proud to be who I am. And I feel I'm deserving of them, you know? What makes you think that, um, you're not already worthy, exactly? It's not me trying to poke and prod and make fun of you, it's me just genuinely asking. I don't know. What what made you think you were worthy of yours? I see I see the mark by your neck. That's when I figured myself out. Huh? When was that? Oh, I feel I've been talking about this all day. Uh strange day today is. Um well Let me ask you this. What do you think I wanted to be before I was uh Set on doing baking and cooking and what have you. I'll tell you what, I hope you don't take offense to it, but your sage ear is certainly wasted on the kitchen. I don't know. A counselor? You know? Maybe King's Council? Oh, no. Not a ward, surely not. That's why you're wrong. That's what I want to be. What, what made you change your mind? If you don't mind me asking. Well... Like I said to someone else earlier, I was taking it too fucking serious. It isn't... that the point? You know, to take king and country... to heart. As seriously as possible. You can do that and still have a soul of your own. I suppose you're correct, but... Why completely turn your back to it? Well... I wouldn't say completely turn your back to it, I mean, here you are. And these are... <laughs> delicious. They are. You ever just look at something? And you think, wow, that's for me. That was meant for me. Even if it's like a yum and looky, a yummy looking um, pastry, or if it's a book, or if it's a sword. Huh? I mean, sadly, in my position, those are mostly visual things that I'm trying to live up to. <laughs> no, I mean something that's truly, genuinely for you. Like it was crafted for you. It's not, if, if not, it's all right. In a sense, I suppose. I'm not so sure about drafted, but, uh, sure. You ever see how happy my baked goods make people? If I could have a mirror right now, I mean, uh, <laughs> I believe I'm proof of that right now. That's what made me change my mind. It's an art. And I love art. But it's also... I see. ...something that genuinely feels like it's for me. That and, uh... The man of the kitchen as well, I'm sure, right? Oh, we don't that talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You'll figure it's it getting out. late. I... You will. I trust I will. I mean, with your sage guidance, how could I not? 
You're worth a thousand counselors. I'll just yell at you and give you baked goods. That's all I'll do. And a thousand more kitchens. That much is true. <laughs> I'll just uh, be, be taking one of those and... Uh, <laughs> Oh, trying not to throw up because I think I can hear Jude coming back. Hold on, I'll tie these up. You can hide them underneath your cloaks over there. Oh, lifesaver. There you go. All right. All right. There's like five okay. in there. Keep them for later. Will do. All right. Don't okay. let the other mates see you eating them. They might think you're lowly or something. <laughs> Understood. All right. But you are enough. I'll, I'll, I'll try to be. You are you too. Are already. All right. Oh, look at that training to do. <laughs> oh, these fucking kids. I swear to God. All right, now to Vega. Vega love! Are oh, you decent? Vega. Vega, are you there? Now come in. Come in. I'm uh, definitely awake. No, you weren't. No, I was. I was awake. I was definitely awake. What are you sleeping on? What are you reading? Uh, uh, reading? <laughs> I didn't have time to read. I was up all night painting. It's quite nice actually, painting? but then I was five minutes late for training and Jude almost murdered me and that wasn't as, as nice, but then at least... At least it was five minutes with Jude, so I can't complain. <laughs> You know, we went on an excursion last week. I don't know if I told you. We went on an excursion, it? and I saw the most beautiful Dalamore I've ever seen. I'd never seen it before in my life, anything like it. It was sleek black, right? Like, really mm -hmm. long. Like, the longest Dalamore. So sleek. And But when it lifted its wings, it had this, like, iridescent blue-green underneath it. And I sat staring at it for 20 minutes. It was so pretty. It was a the prettiest thing and I spent all night trying to paint it but my I just couldn't get it right I just couldn't get the greens and the blues right they just didn't work but I, I've never seen one like it before I mean it's still up here right I guess but I wanted to get it down on, on under the tiles so then I'd have it forever in case I forget it what if I what if I forget what if it's not there again or something like that you won't forget I hope that's true I really do. Because there are so many things I've forgotten that I really wish I hadn't forgotten, but I have. And then I remember that I forgot. That's the most infuriating thing, right? I remember that I've forgotten. So I don't even remember <laughs> what I've forgotten. I just remember that I have. <sighs> what do you have for me today? What is that? Take a sniff and see if you can guess it. Maybe it'll make you feel better about your woes about not remembering the colors of the bird's feathers, eh? <laughs> Movie smells like elderflower, but it's in a pastry. How many that layers is? is that? Four. Mhm. Mm okay, you're about flowers to flowers for you. Here you go. Oh, you! <laughs> Look at you. I can add this to the collection. I mean, I don't know how you always do it. The pastry layers are always so buttery and soft and flaky and never dry. How do you get it so right every time? My my father could never do <laughs> He was so bad at pastry. He really needed to just stick to bread, bless him. But he kept trying. I kept telling him, maybe maybe your calling is in bread and maybe you should let mum just do all the pastry instead, you know, but... They Those come. would have been wise words to give him, I'm sure. Well, they had other things in their mind and then... I guess they kind of gave up on all of that anyway, so. Yeah, this is the... They're like gardening now, so that's nice. And what's with the, um, Reduno again? Hmm? Other than the gardening. 
You said they gave everything up? Well, they run a little oddity shop, I guess. I try and bring them back things from when we go on excursions. You know, little things we find. The forests. But... So why aren't <laughs> you in that shop? Well, you little oddity. <laughs> kind of... Should be, really. <laughs> <laughs> on display in a nice little glass box. They already do that enough. You know, the, they have a big sign on the door saying that the wards have blessed this shop or whatever, and people like to come from far away just to see items that we've touched. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. Every time I go around to see them, I have to use the back door because if I go through the front and people see me, then <sighs> the day is just lost and I never get to talk to them. But I mean, I like doing that. It's nice, you know, meeting people and, and I enjoy it, but I just, sometimes I just want to, you know, eat some of her stew and talk about what they've been doing all week and... Not still lonely. You went there to meet your mom and your dad and talk to them. I mean, so on this excursion last week, mm. we met a man in the forest and he was this strange, strange, strange old man. He was wearing really raggedy clothes, but he looked kind of happy, I suppose. You know, they, they dropped us off in the middle of nowhere. They expected us to find our way back, the usual sort of thing. And it was pretty easy. They packed us some of your cheese and pickle buns, my favorite, so I had plenty of plenty of fuel, I suppose. But <laughs> we met him and he had no idea who we were. <laughs> not a clue. <laughs> he had not a single clue who we were. And he invited us back and he had this, this hut in the middle of the forest that I... I mean, I'd never seen it before, and I'd, I've been studying that forest for a while, so it was something, but... He invited us in, and he gave us some nettle tea. And I, I mean, I, I wasn't entirely convinced it wasn't poisonous somehow, but I smelled it, and it smelled fine, and then I tasted it, and it tasted fine, so it was probably fine. I tasted it before Leah did, you know? And then... And, uh, he just had a conversation with us, you know, and it felt like he was listening. <laughs> it felt like he actually just wanted to talk. He didn't... He wasn't sat there with stars in his eyes, just hanging onto our every word. He showed us his his little garden. He had he was growing carrots and herbs and all sorts. And it was just nice, you know. It was just nice. I felt I felt like a normal human being for the first time in a very long time. We gotta get you all masks or something. <laughs> you think that would work? No, I don't think that would work the hair. It's unmistakable. Every time I go anywhere, it's the first thing they notice. I should just shave it all off or something. Maybe get one of those look cute things bold. that has. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it would. You know, and it's a battlefield tactic. I bet you would tell me that. Jude would say, you know what, Vega? You should shave all your hair off. Because no one can grab it on the battlefield, and that would be probably for the best. Tactical. I mean, she'd be right. She's always right. <laughs> Well, I don't know if she's always right, but... She's nearly always right. I mean, God, she reads so many books. I bet she's still got her head stuck in that book now, hasn't she? Is she okay? Did you... Have you seen her? Yeah, I already went on over to her. She, um... She's been reading that for weeks now. Yeah, the whole lot of you need some rest. You've been pushing yourselves way too hard. I don't know. I can't... What if you rest and then the next day is when something happens and you're not prepared? That's why you have to train every day, right? Because the next day could be the day it all falls apart and you wouldn't even know. You could be sat there the day before just reading your books, painting, thinking Being that things are going to change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> prepared for the next day with an onslaught of tiresome activity that's going to make you exhausted by the end of the day, so... I don't see something wrong with resting for a day, no. Actually, what is resting anyway? I mean, doing normal people things like doing your painting, except not in the uh, wee hours of the morning. But going for a walk in the woods that's not to go fight something. Oh. And all the thrill's kind of gone, isn't it? Not really. It's kind of nice, you know, I get to enjoy nature, but then I also have that underlying terror underneath of so something maybe going wrong and having to be ready for it. It's kind of kind of what I live for, in a way. <laughs> Is that not exhausting for you? I mean... A bit. But... I'm afraid 
afraid that if I stop, then I'll never be able to start again. I had spent too long thinking about it. Well, you spend too long thinking about it, it's going to go exactly how you thought it was, because you won't be prepared either way. Hmm. I guess. <sighs> I mean, either way, we have another excursion planned next week. Besides, if I paint during the day, I'll just get disturbed, and then I'll never finish it, so... I have a towel for you, by the way. I painted mm -hmm. one. I want to see not, it. It's not... Great. I couldn't remember what your favorite flowers were. I... You have so many. Massimo, how does he find the time to go get you so many flowers every single week? I... I don't understand. Whatever... Is that... If that's love, then... I want that. He rests. Oh, okay. All right. Point proven. Well, mm -hmm. here. Anyway, I... I painted this last week, and I thought... I thought maybe if I paint lots of them, and then you can put them all in the kitchen, and it could be like a mural or something. This is one of the most thoughtful things anyone's ever given me, love. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know, I've seen what your husband gives you. That man's got limitless creativity. So do you. have a good one there. That I did. We are creative. You like bacon. I, I mean, I'm probably creative in ways I shouldn't be, really, with baking, let's face it. I mean... Okay, it turns out... Some things should not go in baked goods. And these are lessons that I'm learning, that and that's fair. okay. <laughs> that is very fair. <laughs> I didn't realise that chili jam did not go so well. <laughs> Maybe I mean, like a little thought... less next Look, time, just a tiny bit. Tiny bit chili less. jam and a donut sounded like a good idea to me, but... Maybe a bit too much chilli. Just a little bit. I remember Leah's face, it was bright red. <laughs> I've never seen him so red in my life. <laughs> maybe you give him enough of those, he'll rest. Hmm? Maybe. Maybe that's the secret. <laughs> maybe he'll be a little bit stuck in the outhouse or something. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Poor thing. I don't know. I think about... I think about that old man in the forest. Thought about him a lot over the past week, you know. Just, just makes me uncomfortable going into a market, seeing the way everybody looks at us, and also seeing. Have you seen the kids? These days, there are shops in the marketplace selling costumes to look like us. It's, it's horrific. They. They're barely able to walk and they're already training to be wards, all of them. Their whole lives dedicated to being a ward, to learning, to training. And they're good. I mean, God, they're good at it. But I just... I feel like a fraud most of the time. I just... I never tried. I never wanted to be a ward. And yet all these people, desperate to be wards, they've trained their whole lives and leads up to this moment, and who gets the job? Me. Well, don't you think that somebody who wants it too much shouldn't be the one to get it over somebody who doesn't and will do what is best? Because they don't want that glory of being a ward, right? That's the person who's going to get the job done just feels like... I don't know. I know this is my purpose now, but... I don't know. I wonder what life would have been like if I hadn't. You can't just have, you know, only one purpose. You can have multiple, you know. Even if it's getting the colors on those wings right. Yes, you're right. <laughs> and we have to perfect those donuts. I'm convinced it will work. Just a little bit less. Maybe even some salt on top. I don't know. More of a savoury kind of thing. Ah. Oh. Right. Maybe if we right. had a little meat in it, it'll taste a little better. <gasps> Ooh. Like minced meat in the middle. Mm hmm That's genius. Can we try that tomorrow? We sure can. Okay. Great. Okay, I, I think I have about five minutes in between the sword training and the defensive move maneuvers. What is that? Defensive? 
Oh my god, is this a new class? Has she got another class booked in? We need to tell Jude there are only 24 hours in the day and having 22 to train is probably not healthy. Do you want a little spoiler? Yeah. She might be ending training about 45 minutes earlier tonight. Why? Is she okay? She may have listened to someone else for once. Hmm. So I can get everything ready. I have it prepared. And with my artistry and your experimentation, I'm sure we could come up with something evolutionary. Right? Okay. Okay. I'm thinking butter twists. Ooh. But this time with rosemary infused. I think she'll like that. Simple but elegant, you know? That's that's Jude, right? She's elegant. Not shoes. But you know. You shouldn't forget that you're just a person. You don't have to be perfect at everything always. And you're a work in progress, much like the rest of us. I'm afraid for the moment. But I'm not perfect. And I'm afraid it will be the wrong moment. But there's no point worrying about something that hasn't happened, right? Right. There's so much to worry about that has happened. I mean... But even if you aren't perfect at the wrong moment... That's growth. Unfortunately. Besides, you've got a few people who think you're perfect. Hmm. Just the way you are. So, I'll leave these all here for you, okay? And you better 45 be minutes. 45 minutes. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go harass that husband of mine now, all right? Have fun. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. I always appreciate you. I appreciate you. Massimo? Yes. Oh. Oh, those stairs. Long There's day. There's a lot. All I did was deliver some baked goods. And I feel like I've just ran a, a marathon or something throughout the streets of the town. So your ordinary run then? What you got there? Oh, just a little tail I found tucked away. Do you know there was allegedly a three-headed troll down by Lord's Lake? Three heads? That's what the What's book the says. What's with three? I'm not quite sure. So it's did funny. it have like six eyes then? Because it has three heads? I would assume so. What I haven't what gotten that far. One of them was far. like a cyclops. Oh, well. Look at us with the imagination. Continue, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, you're fine. I'm just trying to figure out if it's historical or if it's fiction. There's a lot of magic in our world, right? Quite true. Quite possible it's real. Quite possible indeed. <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary, though? If you count the three young'uns pushing themselves way too hard, thinking that they need to be carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders at every given moment, and stressing me the fuck out because I see them like this, and I just want it to be better for them. And yes, you probably normal. Stressed. I couldn't tell a smidge. All right, you got me there. See, there is something you're better than me at. What reading you? That's it. Well, I appreciate your big heart, but... Be careful. I can tell hearing all their troubles and woes weighs on you. They're not your troubles. 
I'm a Ling. Right, but I love them, so that's going to be that it's my trouble, you know? Then where's the lawn? All right, stop using me on logic on me, okay? <laughs> it's not logic, just food for thought, a pastry for thought, given the context. <laughs> Fair enough. So, what have you been up to other than uh, reading? Well, I cleaned up the kitchen, or well, <gasps> tidied up as you call it, found this little book, stuffed away, practiced my aim at the gumdrop game. I'm nobody, in mm. case you was wondering. What else did I do? <gasps> I remembered something. You want to see something neat? Of course. I scurry on over to the cupboards, and I open it. I found something a little bit ago. A little carving. I don't know what it's about. Okay. It's a little hummingbird. Oh, that is mighty peculiar. Perhaps we have a friend or one of the children are leaving us presents. <laughs> we gotta leave it there. Wow. Right. <laughs> what? I just thought it was cute. That's all. It's quite well made. Better than most carbons. Bet indeed. So, we got anything else on the agenda? Or are we going to sleep? Well, if there's anything you've taught me, is that an early night's rest solves all your problems. Well, when they're about 45 minutes before done their uh, normal training, I'm supposed to come back down here and bake with Vega, so we'll hang out a little bit and then we'll come back. Alrighty. to this very warm room we go. Thank heavens. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Vega, I hope I'm not uh, disturbing you. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> um, I was just, uh, I was reading that book you gave me, actually. The, um, oh, which one? Um, the one about, um, the one about the birds of the walking woods. Ah, it's a good but, uh, one. I'm going to be honest, I uh, mostly just looked at the pictures because, um, I mean, they're really good pictures, and I thought it would be nice to um, remember them, right? And then I can point them out I mean, that's... when we go walking. Yeah, that's why I lent it to you, actually. The pictures made me think of you. <laughs> You're saying I can't read. <laughs> uh, actually, I have a question for you. Yeah, anything, yeah. Uh, here's... <laughs> First of all, here's um it's just a daisy, I found it outside. <laughs> Everybody's giving me flowers today. Thank you. Uh I, I'm thinking about um cutting training for the night. Would you like to maybe we could uh grab a bite to eat? Um, that is such a strange coincidence because I just made these, um, with Emmeline. Um, they are, they are rosemary butter twists. Um, they might, uh, okay, no, they're going to be fantastic. Let's face it, Emmeline made them, but, um, I, I thought maybe, you know, a little snack before bed. Um, light, delicious. If you don't mind, uh, bringing them for this instead of saving them, that would be... I, I found, um, it's a really beautiful spot. I'd like 
to go if you want to join me. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just let me put my boots on. Oh, there's no, there's no rush if you, if you need. No, to no, 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 no. It's fine. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, all right. <sighs> okay. Um. So uh, where, where, where is oh, it? Oh, by the There's way, it's <laughs> everywhere. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh. Yeah, I mean, you've probably seen it, but it's around sunset, and it's um, just a hill, but it has a very nice tree. It's an old tree. I like to sit by the tree. I love trees. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Um. Your hair looks very nice today. And I'm so just yours. Okay. Sh shall we go? Yeah, I'll lead the way. I'll, I'll, I'll bring yes, these with me. This works. Does it work? It works. We're all here. Yay! Yay. Yay. What a lovely, wholesome, non-traumatic episode. It was so good. <laughs> the entire time I was trying not to cry and also doing this during the Jude and Vega scene. <laughs> and then I was also like this during the Emmeline is a therapist stuff. Couldn't handle it. All right. Who wants to go first? Um, I guess I'll get go first. Uh, hi, my name is Meyer. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Meyer. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Short and sweet. Thank <laughs> you. It was a great episode. I loved it a lot. Um, like, uh, to get the flashback was, uh, was really cool to see what life was like pre desiccation and to see, like, in a snapshot into the, into, uh, the characters' lives. Um, through the lens of Emmeline and Massimo was also really cool, too. You know, like, how did, uh, people who weren't, you know, like part of this whole Vin, Vin Blake guard thing, you know, like the vans, like, uh, the Baxters and such, how, how do they perceive people like that and what are they doing? And, you know, like, do they like them? You know, like, uh, do they tolerate them? What's happening behind closed doors? Uh, and also just, uh, having, uh, having fail in as, as, you know, Emmeline was just so good. Like, I've seen her do this before in Wild RP, you know, just like turn on that inquisitive kind of like just therapist role and just like dig into your character and find what's going on and just knows exactly what to say and it's just amazing all the time. Um, so yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's me. That's what I wanted to say. Um, uh, 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 uh Massimo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hello. My name is Johnny Blams, and I played Massimo for you guys today. Uh, you can find me on all the things as Johnny Blams. Um, I found my new favorite thing about the show besides these lovely, talented, amazing people, and that's watching PB live react to the show. 
like we if we ever did like a full YouTube cut, like I, I would watch. I, I think the audience would watch a YouTube cut as well as PB live reactions to the show because it's so good. I, I absolutely uh, love it. Today's episode was really, really cool. Um, it was nice to not be heartbroken, which makes my anxiety go off because I'm like, oh, if, if we have if we have this wholesome episode, then like well, well, next week, smile. Um, yeah. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, with that being said, I'm going to pass it over to Faye, who absolutely murdered it today. Oh, I started off Irish. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Uh, but also, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with all of us while we do all these weird, 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 fun TTRPG things here on Table Story and on Kingmakers in particular. Um, PB is just, uh, PB, just plug your ears so, because I'm about to compliment you. She's just a mastermind, uh, and everything she touches is always awesome and quirky and. Uh, even if you add something completely out of the norm for the show, somehow it ends up working. But anyway, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Faylin and on Twitter as Faylin as well. Uh, I do a lot of uh, RP content in general. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV as well recently. We just got into Shatterbringers. It's sick so far, so we're doing the MSQ for that. Um, and I'm here on Table Story on Mondays as well for 100 Club. Uh, so you can find me here as well. Um, that being said, uh, let's go on over to Vega. Leah. Vega. Oh my God. How are you fine? How are you? Vega. Uh, that was so good. You picked up Emmeline so well, considering Emmeline was just like a random character that just i mean obviously all of this is all of this is improv all of this is right. just something off the top of your head and you're like that's a thing now by the way in this world uh in case you're wondering it's like yep yeah, there you go i've decided this happened um so yeah you pitched picked up this one um one throwaway character almost and then made her very real and it was uh it was so so awesome to see um yeah, it cut to me furiously typing before I was on, like, thinking of, like, different scenarios and stuff, because I can't... I, my mind goes blank when I'm thrown straight into improv. I'm like, <laughs> So I have to, like, prepare a little bit. Um, but it was uh, really, really... It was so nice. It was so great. And it was really nice being able to touch upon all of the different themes as well that we've seen in the show so far and, like, sort of drive them home in a very different way. Um, so I, I can't wait. I really get, hope we get an episode with the other three uh, in a similar vein. I really, really hope we do, because that's going to be... I, I think the other three are so mysterious <laughs> to me still. I feel like we know so much about our characters now, but, um, you know, Treya, Titus, Raz are all very... Um, yeah, very, mm, very mysterious. Anyway, hi, I am Leah, and I um, I play video games sometimes as well. I have no idea what I'm playing, so um, you can follow me if you like mystery and chaos and uh, talking too much. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maggles! Oh, hi. <laughs> um, I have literally been sitting here thinking, like, do I go all in on gushing about every single person in this episode? Um, it will probably make everyone feel uncomfortable, but I'm going to do it anyway, because, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> everyone was so good today. It was absolutely insane. Uh, Faye, what a gift that you were today, because you just, like, asked questions and, like, gave people nuggets to RP with that, like... I started this episode being so like, I, I'm head empty and I have no, no clue. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> me too. And then the first question that you asked me, the first question that you asked me like rocked me, man. And I was like, yes. And I seriously, yeah, I don't know if this episode would be nearly as good if you were not there to like bounce all of that stuff off. Um, I feel immense uh, horror uh, for Lear, the way that Jude has, has treated him, but it was like so wonderful to like hear the way that Lear thinks about stuff um, and how everything affects him. And he's just, Meyer, you're just amazing. Uh, and Leah, you were so naturalistic today that it was like unbelievable. Like you were literally Vega. That was not that was like a real life scenario that we just mm -hmm. saw. Yes, it wasn't absolutely it like wasn't acting. It wasn't RP. It was like I was like the most immersive shit I've ever seen. <laughs> the um, fucking and it was she's elegant line. 
destroyed oh, me. My like, God. <laughs> everybody in the fucking chat, everybody in this call was immediately like, oh, I'm seeing something I shouldn't be seeing right now because this is real life. It was yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah. It was so good. It's Didn't incredible. That one. <laughs> I will <was> say. 100%. <laughs> it was um, and Johnny, you were so good today. There's something like Johnny literally like writes novels while RPing live. It's, <laughs> it's, it's the most do, insane do, do, thing. Do you have actual flour on your desk? Uh, it's chalk. It's oh, chalk. Thank oh, thank God. God. It's only better. chalk. Yeah. It's oh. only chalk. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it's right. six better and it's easier to get off. So it's I was only, like, chalk. Yeah. Chalk will work better. Yeah. Oh my God. But like, aside from the prop work, just like the, the most insane, just the lines that you come up with are the most poetic. Like that shit could have literally been scripted by a top writer and you're just making it up as you go. And it's the most insane thing ever. Anyway, the point of all of this is how <laughs> privileged I feel to like even be in this room. You're all the shit. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye. Is that it? Is it me? Yeah. Okay. It's you. Okay. Um, so first of all, shout out to the people who are not here, right? Please go follow the remainder. We did do this. The timing on this episode was fucking perfect. But we did it last minute, sort of, because we were going to be down a cast member. And it was fun. And everybody kind of jumped into it. Um, it was Brad's idea, actually, I think, wasn't it? Last week, Brad was like, oh, why don't we just follow the baker? I and just we were want like, an episode with Emily. Yeah, and we just follow her <laughs> around. And I was like, That's, That's yes, so I love that. We're doing it. We're going to do it. Um, so speaking of, uh, yes, we're going to do that. Shout out, special shout out to Orkish. Who, uh, and I'm realizing this is a pattern with me, I guess, who woke up to messages of me in all caps saying, please get up right now. I need you. <laughs> I need your voice for something insane that I am. I'm scrapping everything I did before and I'm redoing it right now because this is going to be way better. So will you help me? And he just did. He just dropped everything and was like, I will get out of bed right now and I will help you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gigi Orkish. Um, His voice was so perfect. It was for that. perfect. So mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. perfect. So good. At least it was happy, right? At least he woke up to like a, a semi-happy <laughs> yes, one to the end and line. not like yeah. yeah, something terrible. Yeah, that's true. I should uh, I should maybe think about re rephrasing those opening <laughs> messages. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, anyway, I'm PB. You can find me at Twitch and Twitter at Pumpkinberry. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Like the podcast and review the podcast on Apple. And that's it, right? Was there anything else I needed to say? Did I forget Just anything? Sub to Pumpkinberry. Nope. Oh, yeah, go watch 100 Club because it's really good. Yeah, 100, 100 Club, Club is so new good. show it's on so Mondays. Good. It's, it's so good. It's, Only it's two episodes out. So you can good. totally catch up. Do it. <laughs> and that's that's it. And I'll see you guys. We'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? Emeline? Get, I need you to get out of the way. V Vega, what's this about? I need you to get out of the way. We need to leave. Well, uh, why are you looking at me like that? Emeline, please, please. She looks at you and cries out in pain. Her eyes are filled with tears. She looks horrified. Like you, Vega, are the monster she dreamed about as a little girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evelyn. <laughs>